Parallel and perpendicular lines. Question 39. The lines 2x minus 3y plus 5 equals to 0 is perpendicular to the line 6x plus ay plus 1 equals to 0. Find possible value of a. So we are given two lines and we have a parameter a here which is coefficient of y. We need to find the value of a which will make these two lines perpendicular. Let's try them. Write them in y equals to mx plus b form. Find slope of both the lines and then the slopes should be negative reciprocal of each other. Now that is what we will do. So let's write down the equation and then write them in y equals to mx b form. So the first equation is 2x minus 3y equals to 5. So we can write this as 3y that is, I'm taking 3y to the other side, and so I'm writing 3y equals to 2x plus 5, okay? So you can do like this also. Earlier, I was doing, taking all of the terms and then dividing by minus 3. But this time, I've taken 3y minus 3y to the other side, okay? It's one and the same thing. And now I'm dividing by 3. So we get 2 over 3x plus 5 over 3 and therefore the slope of the first line m1 is 2 over 3 correct now let's find the slope of the second line the second line is 6x plus ay plus 1 now a equals to 0 now ay equals to minus 6x minus 1 and y equals to minus 6 over a x minus 1. Good. The slope of this line m2 is minus 6 over a. Now if these lines are perpendicular then what do you expect? If these lines are perpendicular then the product of slopes should be minus 1, correct? That means m1 times m2 should give me minus 1, correct? That is what it means. Or m1 is equal to negative reciprocal of m2. That means negative of 1 over m2, correct? This means this also. So we can adopt any of these methods to figure out what is the value of a, okay? So I think this is better in this situation. So let's write m1 which is 2 over 3. So write 2 over 3 here which is m1 equals to minus of negative reciprocal of m2. So let's flip it, right? If we flip it, <coughs> then it becomes negative becomes negative of this number, right? So negative a over 6. So we have 2 over 3 should be equal to a over 6. Do you see that? And from here we can find the value of a. So we, the a is equal to 2 times 6 over 3 is equal to a, right? So 12 divided by 3 is 4. Therefore a is equal to 4. So that is how we can find the value of a, correct? So that's the way to find a in such a situation.